Hi there. After my past tutorials on how to have sex at work and how to have sex at home, an overwhelming majority of you have asked me about school and how to have sex there. Let, 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 let me show you how to have sex at school. I can only assume that you are students asking this question because we all know that teachers are so tired, overworked, and underpaid that they beg their malnourished children to kill them every night <laughs> so that they don't really feel like having sex. Can you please send someone into the office to kill me? sex boarding schools, congratulations on your possibly temporary homosexuality. <laughs> you have it made. You don't even need to watch this. For the rest of you, let's begin. We're going to burn through this like gonorrhea. <laughs> this is Crystal. I am going to help her have sex. Where? School? Yeah. Step one. Choose a mate. Find the smallest, smartest, least developed boy in your class, preferably with glasses. Excuse me, who are you? Fuck off! He's going to be rich. And he'll feel grateful to you for the rest of his life. Won't you? Won't you? Yes. Step two. Find your future Bill Gates and get cold. Get cold? Yes, obviously. Why? Because, because this boy wants to make eye contact. And the last place he wants to look is your face. <laughs> That's why, that's, that's why you have to make your chest eyes really pop. What are chest eyes? Your nipples, honey. They are the windows to your soul. I thought those were your eyes. Yes, chest eyes. For teenage boys anyways. And adult boys. And gay girls. And gay guys who like tits. And babies. <laughs> Once you have your skinny little nerd and your nipples in place, walk towards him. Tell him you want to have sex. Once his seizure is over, there is no doubt that he will say yes. Find the nearest supply closet. Pick the lock. Go inside. Go inside. Go inside and get to business. Yeah. Nice work. Yeah, more grinding I think would be appropriate. Sure. Yep. Uh. <laughs> Your tiny lover will probably jizz inside of his pants before he pulls anything out. This is preferable. The sex would have been awkward anyway. So, what you do is just mess up your hair and leave looking satisfied, please. You stay in there and think about what you've done. Now all you have to do is wait for the news to get around school that you've taken a new lover and just wait for all of the respect and admiration you've garnered from your peers to pour in. <laughs> But poor retard fucker. Why don't you go have sex with a pocket protector? Nerd lover. Uh cum dumpster? Success! Hey Foxy, 
want to go deep sea diving? <laughs> That's her! You're under arrest! Whoa! Hey, you your back up against the deck! <laughs> you are being under arrest for uh, soliciting minors. Alright, so you have the right to remain silent. Sex at school. Anything you uh, say or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one won't be fired to you by the state. Let's get moving! Come on! Bye! Move!